something huge is heading towards our Fortnite island. And it can literally be seen in game. As well as other secret changes confirming that he is making a return. Players have noticed a strange ice structure slowly moving towards our island. An ice structure that seems to be an iceberg with something mysterious planted on top. Leakers in the game's files have managed to get hold of this model in the game's files to find out exactly what is coming our way and what it actually is is insane. But first, it seems the much-loved Peter Griffin boss and the other bosses from Season 1 are returning to our Fortnite game. But this time, they will look a little different. You might have missed. In the most recent updates in Fortnite, we have found that bosses across our Fortnite island are slowly changing and are being consumed by the spirits of the underworld. Heading over to the yacht location where Ascended Midas can be found, something has happened to Midas and it has everything to do with the underworld. Oh, Midas, hold on, hold on, hold on. They said, huh? Hey, yo, Shade Midas. Yo, dog, what happened? Bro, Midas was He's literally here for like a week or maybe two and like like bro he's literally glowing green Aww. i'm pretty sure we're nowhere near fort's nightmares so why do you look so scary ascended midas or now shade midas seems to have been consumed by the spirits of the underworld and his face has turned green with underworld evil in a recent video we discovered that midas had a secret glowing green rib inside his model the players could see in game hey don't worry you don't need to play the clip again I can show you exactly what I mean. Hey, stay still, homie. Stay still. Yo, what the? What is this, dog? This is literally inside the model of Midas. Simply by glitching inside him, we can see that he has a whole internal spine and stuff. Hey, this is so creepy, Epic. Why? Bro, what is that inside? Bro, is that like a... Bro, what is that? This texture right here is new. And I'm creeped out for real, for real. Like, for real. It seems that after Midas escaped the underworld, his body is being consumed by these haunted spirits. And terrifyingly, it's not yet over. In the game's file, players have already found the fully consumed Shade Midas outfit, which reveals not just his face, but in fact his entire body will be consumed by the underworld evil glow. This will soon be an outfit in-game for players to purchase in the item shop and use on our Fortnite island. Hey, and and uh, uh, whilst, whilst, you're whilst we're talking about the item shop, hey, come on, use my support to create a code, come on. Fully evil and consumed Midas coming to Fortnite? But why is this happening. It seems the underworld has a secret power to turn characters into evil spirits. And unfortunately for us, it's not just Midas. At the end of season one, the society bosses were defeated. And with the cemetery location of chapter five being renamed to Society Cemetery, players believed that the society had been laid to rest here after they were eliminated. But it now seems that the spreading of the spirit world can actually consume characters on our Fortnite island. And it seems possible that the society might be next on that list and will be returning in the form of evil underworld spirits. Hey, let me know in the comment section how many times I've said underworld in this video so far. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot. Bro, can you keep it down, dog? I'm speaking of it. Yeah, we found out in a recent video that there is an upcoming snapshot quest connected with this society cemetery and Cerberus in which he has to dig up dog toys at this location. Upcoming snapshot quests for Siberus reveal that players will have to dig up dog toys at special locations, including here at the windmill and at the society cemetery. Yeah, you heard right. The cemetery location is now called the Society Cemetery, confirming that all the defeated members of the Society, well, they were all laid to rest here, confirming that they were actually removed from Fortnite storyline forever. But why is this connected with the Siberus upcoming snapshot quest? Why would the gatekeeper of the underworld be digging up around these locations? Well, the most obvious answer might be that the hound from the underworld is looking for the souls of the Society 
This is where their souls would be found if they were officially defeated. It's possible that Tiberius has been sent on a mission to uncover the souls of these society members and bring them back to the underworld. Seems possible. Hey, looks like Hades wants the souls of the society back in the underworld. Yeah, and for any skeptics who actually are unsure if the society are really here, a brand new NPC called Claire has just been added. I discovered that literally was recording this video. And she literally talks about the society at this location. Yeah, the society are definitely resting here. Well, there is only one thing that could be dug up here by the gatekeeper of the underworld. And that's the resting members, the defeated society. Is it possible that Cerberus will find the resting location of the eliminated society members and take them back to the underworld and bring them to life using the spirits of the underworld, which has already been seen to be happening on our island right now. That would mean that characters like Oscar, Nysha, could make a return this season, but this time with green glowing eyes, haunted with evil spirits. And of course, it could mean that season one's most lovable character might actually be making a return this season. Oh yes, that's right, Mr. Peter Grip. Oh, bruh. Hey, hold, hold on, bro. Anything around here somewhere? Another guy that just took my HP away. Peter! Uh, Peter? Peter! <gasps> Yo! The return of Peter Griffin. The Fortnite season two! Oh, and hold on. Super, super quick. Yeah, I read the comment section in the last video. And actually, it is true. Peter Griffin is a part of the society. Yeah, apparently a lot of people were telling me that Peter Griffin was not a part of the society. In fact, half of the comments wrong. on that video were telling wrong. me I'm wrong. If you go to Peter Griffin's location, there are a ton of society logos all over his location. Even inside his vaults, which he had a keycard to. He was guarded by society guard members. And if you read the wiki, the society was founded at an unknown time period by Montego, who presented his idea to the other elites of the islands during an exhibition in an unknown location. <laughs> Sorry, don't, don't, don't worry too much about that. Later, the society grew as Valera, Nysha, Oscar, and Peter Griffin joined Montego. Montego, whatever his name is. At the top of the organization with Valera becoming the most notorious boss. Peter Griffin is part of the society. And he's coming back to game. A giant iceberg is slowly heading towards our Fortnite island. And it seems that something is inside. In the most recent updates, players have uncovered that a giant iceberg model has been found in the files. And it has everything to do with Fortnite Season 2. A close-up look at this model of the iceberg reveals that something or some one is inside. Of course, if you come into the game right now and look off in the distance, you can't see anything because it's just literally storm everywhere. The storm everywhere. If you look off in the distance in our Fortnite game, we are being informed that this giant floating iceberg will soon make an appearance in our game. We will be able to see it slowly make its way towards our Fortnite island, just like the event all the way back in season six of chapter one, where a giant iceberg came to our Fortnite game. We are expecting an avatar collaboration in Fortnite at some point pretty soon. Whether this iceberg actually has anything to do with the Fortnite storyline beyond the collaboration, I guess we'll have to find out. But it seems almost certainly it will affect Fortnite probably forever.